A one-trick pony, home automation is much more than that. The possibilities are unlimited when you build on a solid basis, like an intelligent operating system that runs your entire home. Additionally, energy efficient, these solutions can help you save money and lessen your carbon footprint. The information these technologies offer makes managing your house more efficient. In this video, we're going to talk about the 10 advanced smart motion sensor automation ideas. So let's get started. Number 10. Fountain Water Feature Automation The arrival is detected by a motion sensor strategically placed at the gate or at the car entrance. This in turn causes the fountain in the driveway to start its pumping mechanism. Sure, an automated fountain on the driveway is not a feature most houses have, but if it's possible, why not intelligently automate the waterworks to deliver a wow moment to your guests as they arrive? If it's an option, why not intelligently automate the waterworks? Our fantastic customers are always discovering new and interesting ways to implement motion-based automation in the homes of their end users. Be sure to let us know if you've developed more motion-based automation actions or already produced ones. Number 9. Silence Alarm – Get Out of Bed we are particularly fond of this one. The morning wake-up alarm may be turned off by placing a motion sensor in the dressing area so that it detects specific types of movement. However, this does mean that the only way to mute the morning wake-up alarm is to get out of bed and go into the dressing room, which brings up the question of whether or not this is the purpose for which we have wake-up alarms in the first place. This is the one that might make you love to loathe it. Number 8. Front Door Alert Notification Should any unwelcome guests walk up to the house, an outdoor motion sensor that is strategically placed, like our Motion Sensor 360 IP67 Volt Free Dry Contact, is able to ping phones, turn on lights, even open gates. The fact that a light has been turned on inside the house and that the front gate has been unlocked is enough to surprise most people who were planning on breaking in. Number 7. Activate Music In today's new smart homes, multi-room audio is one of the most popular features. Making use of the home automation system's motion sensor to start playing music might offer some really lovely finishing touches on the setup. A good illustration of this can be seen in public restrooms and bathrooms. Why not have some music start playing whenever someone enters a restroom? When you enter the bathroom in the morning, why not have the motion sensor turn on your preferred radio station? Number 6. Turn off AV The morning after a movie night, you come down the stairs and realize that the AVR has been left on all night, or even worse. TV has been on with a blank screen for hours and hours at a time. It's easy to make this mistake, still possibly more entertaining than cricket. Utilize the room's motion sensors and send discrete commands to the audiovisual equipment in order to turn it off after a predetermined length of time has passed, during which the space has not been occupied. Don't set any timeouts that will cause the system to shut off, though, in the middle of a movie. Before we go ahead, subscribe and leave a comment saying I subscribed. I will personally reply to your comment. Number 5. Energy Saving Automation It might be obvious, but one of the most effective ways to cut down on energy consumption is to install motion sensors in each room. The use of motion sensors to switch off the lights in unoccupied rooms is an excellent approach to save energy, as we have discussed previously. However, why stop there? On hot days, motion sensors can be used to turn off the air conditioning in empty offices and lower the blinds in empty rooms to prevent solar gain. Motion sensors can also be used to lock the doors. Maintain an open mind to the myriad of motion-based, automation-based possibilities that are at your disposal. Number 4. Heating Boost Override Motion sensors are frequently called for when discussing the automation of lights. However, real home automation goes beyond simply controlling the lighting. Why not make sensible use of the motion sensor to automate the heating system? 
make use of the motion sensors to ensure that the heating schedules in the rooms where people are present are extended for a longer period of time. When the heating is outside of its normal schedule and the motion sensor has not detected motion for the allotted amount of time, the heating in that zone should be allowed to return to its normal setting. Number three, activate different time dependent scenes. The automation of lighting does not have to consist solely of turning lights on and off. Imagine that the bookcase has down lights, lamps, LED strip lighting, and low level accents in the huge open plan living space. This excellent lighting design would be wasted if only a subset of the conceivable settings were shown. As a result, the lighting setback or standby scene can involve the low level lights and the lamps being on at a brightness level of 50% after sunset. When someone enters the room, the motion sensor recognizes their presence and gradually brightens the area by gradually increasing the brightness of the down lights and the LED strip lighting that's on the bookcase. The down lights and the LED strip will automatically turn off. The room will revert to the standby scene that it was in before when the room is empty. The motion sensor has not detected any motion within the timeout period. This one is sure to blow the minds of your visitors. Be sure to comment on their favorite part of the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more home automation videos. Number two, turn off the lights. Utilizing a motion sensor to turn off the lights in a room can be an excellent approach to ensure that lights are not left on in an unoccupied space. This practice is also known as absence detection. There is a possibility that some users may not want the motion sensor to turn the light on automatically when they enter the room and instead would want to utilize the switch to activate the light. On the other hand, if the lights are switched on in a room and there is no motion detected for the amount of time that you have programmed, the lights will turn off. This can be accomplished with some ingenious home automation. Some users will find this is an excellent semi automation option. Number one, turn on the lights. Quite possibly the one used for motion sensors in the automated home that sees the greatest amount of usage overall. A fairly straightforward automation that serves its purpose well is the device that detects when someone enters a room and then immediately switches on the lights. Any users of the home who are prone to forgetting things can be taken care of by the smart home system by programming it to switch off the lights after motion is no longer detected. It is essential to give thought to the actual location of the sensor in order to guarantee that it will detect someone entering the room at the appropriate moment and will not be installed in a place that will cause it to pick up on people who are not actually entering the space. What do you think of the video? Let us know about your favorite part of the video in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more home automation videos, subscribe and leave a comment saying I subscribed. I'll personally reply to your comment. See you next time. Thanks for watching.